on it. Yeah. Cheers. How <laughs> to you buy Bundaberg soft drink? Good spot. Yeah, good Bund drink. Bundaberg's so. good. Yeah, sell now, it all around the world. Now that we've mentioned our sponsors, <laughs> it's the Monday show, the, the Monday, Monday tea off. Here we are. So, <laughs> so here we, we are. We're here at North Stradbroke. Yep. Island Golf Club, golf course. Yep. Um, we've played a vlog, we've done a vlog, done some drone stuff, it's fantastic. Thank you, Andrew Humble. Yep. Um, yep. Thank you to all the committee. Everybody's been super generous and having a laugh over behind the camera here, so it's good. Yep. Um, what did we have? What what was just on? Where did we play? Tennerfield, was it? Tennerfield. Tennerfield uh, <laughs> so, so, so you yeah. played Tennerfield? No, you so played Tennerfield? Ten Tennerfield's. We've yep. just finished on the Tennerfield vlog. Yeah, yeah. Laidley's coming up. Yeah. Exactly, yes. so Laidley's yep. coming up. Yep. Yep. So have you played Tennerfield? No. 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 So your thoughts, let, let's talk about Tennerfield. So thank you, Bean, as well, for Tennerfield. Yeah. Bean? <laughs> Richo, the lunatic. <laughs> Um, thoughts? Tenerfield, I loved Tenerfield, it was fantastic. I was surprised, Russ and Dan had been there a few times. Yep. Um, unfortunately, I'd worked previous times when they'd been down there. Look, great, I'll, the accommodation there, it's close. You can just roll out of bed, roll to the golf mm. club. The golf course itself, great golf course. Um, was certainly, can be tough at different times of the year, obviously <coughs> with the wind and stuff. Well, yeah, when we- That's what golf courses are. And, and but, that, that's the biggest thing. I mean, we, we played there at that time, and I know Scott Adams, who, who Scott Scott Adam, not Scott Adams, Scott Adam, who won the uh, North, one of the North Lakes vouchers. He had just gone to Tennerfield just after we did. Yep. And he said it was colder. Yeah. So it was colder, yeah. maybe not quite as windy, but it was colder. It, look, interesting course. It's a bit of a gentler start to the course, which I didn't mind too much. So, so yeah. when Wade and I got down there on Saturday, yeah. we went out and played the game by ourselves. So just the two of us. You sort of start with par, par, or you start with three pars, and then suddenly you get to some holes that are a little bit tougher. Like, don't you feel the same? Oh, the first it's, couple of holes you've got like are not super hard holes. 250 metres, you can almost hit it anywhere yeah. apart from long. Yeah, you can hit a hybrid off the tee and still make a par -y. But they sort of ease you into the course, and then, bang, it's got a bit more teeth to the course. Yeah, often then it starts playing back into the wind. So it's yeah. into the wind and down the wind. Yep, yep. Cross the wind, in the wind. Shape, shape a couple of shots. Um, off, on the path, good. off on the par threes, they're pretty hard. Yeah, I, yeah. All the par threes, all of them, are tough. So you've got the six yeah. hole, I think it is. That's pretty tough. Which is downhill 160 odd. Then yep. you've got the ninth hole, which is well, it was 150 odd. Yes. We were playing it at like 180. Yes, because it's very narrow green, that one as well. That's right. And it's a little bit intimidating coming back up towards that. You, you've got the accommodation, yeah. <laughs> and then you've got the road car on the park. right. You've got the car park on the right, the accommodation. So you feel like, oh, gee, if the club's too long. <laughs> and like you said, you're back into the wind, so you, you're looking at taking a, a longer club. If you're yeah. nut one, you've, you've hit Miss Daisy's teapot. Yeah, but, you've, you've, and then and then you've, you've got killed, killed, killed someone on their honeymoon. Then you got thirteen, which is like one thirty, which is not too bad. And yep. then the next hole is like one eighty. Yeah, and just nasty. So I think the par threes there are pretty tough. Par fives there are shortish, depending on the wind. But yeah, bent greens. Like who doesn't want to play on bent greens? Yeah. Like that's the because it's so different to what to to, to see, mate. So basically, it's very different to what we're used to playing. Used to yep. playing like here. At, uh, at Stratty, well, this is Blue Cooch, you don't see that often, but three to eight, Bermuda, stuff like that, very rare, and Tiff, you don't tend to get bent that much. Mm. Yep. So it's always a treat. Yep. Well, look, great golf course, great little town. Um, obviously, the, you know, you drive through the town, some beautiful old buildings, they're struggling a little bit, obviously, with getting people there, but the golf course itself, fantastic. Good spot to go, the accommodation they've got, you go for a Weekend. You were telling me uh, you were down there for the scramble, but uh, they had a, a busload of people out yep. before the scramble started. And managed to get all those people through before the scramble started. Yeah. See, that's um, perfect. But that busload of people were typical country people. <laughs> like, there was a lady on the tee block and was sitting on the back deck, and she's missed the ball completely, <laughs> and she goes, Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then you're talking. <laughs> and then she hit one, and it came straight towards us. Yeah. Right. But you know, she was just laughing and said, "Ah, oh, well, they're out on a bus trip. 
She's out playing An older group of people, and the gentleman she was playing with, they were laughing. And yeah. Mate, it, it, and that's all you can That's do. what it is. And, and, and you did say you had an, another couple who were teeing off and hit rocks <laughs> and carrying on. There was almost a barney. Yeah, they had a bit of a blow because one bloke kept trying to tell the other bloke, yeah. mate, you should do this and that. <laughs> I'm just trying to make it fun. He goes, well, you bloody not! <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. Uh, I'm just trying to make it fun. He goes, you're not making a bloody one or anyone. And I'm sorry, mate, if you're watching. No. <laughs> yeah, but means... that's, that's a bit of fun too, yeah. isn't it? it, it look, it, it was funny. Yeah. Look, different people. Out having fun. But certainly a good track worthwhile yeah. going to. Um, we'll, well, we'll we'll go back, and you'll probably go back for Hot and Scramble. Hopefully, we'll go probably. back to vlog again. But there's a few that we really love. Yeah, like because it is a trip away. Yeah, like it is. you were saying, grab a couple of boys. Yep. On the way through, you could always stop at so drive here, couple drive from Brisbane, couple of hours. You could stop at Warwick. Yep. You can have a game at Warwick, drive through to Tannerfield, play Tannerfield. You know, there's Stanthorpe on the way back as well, isn't there? Yep. Um, but I don't know for blokes. Yeah. They got TV. They got Foxtel, so there'll always be footy on or cricket or something. Yeah. From from what you yeah. said, I've never been there personally. But from what you said, it's a good. It sounds like a good spot to uh, for a mate's trip or a boy's trip away for a for a couple of days. Very and... much. We got the same. Really, if you go away with Dan and Russ, they just want to <laughs> play golf and eat. So providing those two things are provided for, would you most? They don't really care where they sleep. No, like, as long as it's together. We we would all <laughs> we'd all sleep on a beach or in the bush or whatever, and just hope that is a snake that's crawling up next to me yeah. or anything else. But that's what it's about. Like yeah. you said, a, yeah. a bunch of blokes getting away, talking some crap, yeah. ha playing some golf, having some fun. Yeah. Like I said, as long as there's the, the accommodation is good. Clean, tidy. And it was. They got Foxtel. Mm. You can walk straight across the club. They have great meals at the club. Food was bloody good. Um, mate, I had Rissoles though. Yeah, and you got to check out the pancakes, shit. Dan Holy said. Mate. <laughs> I can't believe how much they boy those boys can eat. Oh, mate, the, the Rissoles were as big as your head. Oh, I know. Like, <laughs> Holy shit. That's saying something. Yeah, oh, no, mate. so I think Dan, they had, one of them had a fisherman's basket, and then they had half of Richo's Rissoles, and then they went on and had bloody... Banana, yeah, pancakes. Banana, banana pancakes. Banana pancakes. crepes. Yeah. And then I think you went over later and had crumpets. Yeah, and they had some crumpets. That's what they were. Jesus Christ. Oh, machines. But Tenerife was machines. rock solid. So get, so get out there. And as we were saying, that there's a lot of clubs or social groups that go out there. So if your social group's not doing it, tell them to get out there. Add it to the list. Questions. Yeah. Let's get on to some questions. Questions. Questions from Ash Graham. Uh, question for next week's Monday TF. How do you boys deal with partners that don't know the rules? Ask for a ruling, then ignore it because it's not what they wanted to hear. This is in a club comp. Sorry, mate. I thought you still met the missus. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go and just leave her at home. Yeah, she's Or, know, or I'll put her in another group. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I, I was actually up at the, um, at the men's stroke play up at Pacific Harbour, and there was an issue with one of the players, Steve, who knows his rules really well and the rules official didn't so it almost worked the other way mm. the rules official picked up his ball after he dropped it on the second time even though it went within two club lengths and point to he he picked up his ball and play and pointed to where it had to be placed but it had already gone within two club lengths it was in mm. play so the rules official didn't know that and that or the rules official was being a bit anyway whatever happened but mm. You've got a story? Oh, yeah. You don't need to mention your club you're at. No, uh, yeah, so, yeah, I was playing a club game, uh, my first uh, first club comp at my new club um, that I'm currently at. And, yeah, it's, ob it's obvious where it's going to be. Yeah, yeah, um, well, you, but, you don't have to say anything. But yeah, you... but uh, there was an issue where the person I was playing with, uh, after 18 holes, refused to sign my card because uh, he was under the impression that I was anchoring my putter because I changed to a cross-handed putt, uh, putting grip for the round. Um, and, you know, I'm a big guy and I said to him that I'm not anchoring, it's purely just my gut, it's like my arm touching my, my belly. Um, try to, uh, anchoring's one of those rules that's a bit up in the air, uh, unless, uh, I mean, when you work it out, it is def like definitive what it is, but yeah. It's a bit of a still a bit of a grey ruling 
for some people. Yeah, so everyone's going to say you've anchored it to your guts. Now, after we read the rule... Which, yeah, which we did have to read a couple we, of we, times. Yeah, to, to, to get it right. I will, and, I will admit that. And what we come about it was, if you are traditional grips with your hands together, whether it's cross-handed or traditional, as long as your hands are together, then you can effectively do whatever you want with your arms. Mm -hmm. And Your arms can be touching your body, correct. essentially. Correct. As soon as you split your grip. Yeah, as soon as you split your grip, cross hand, arm lock, and your, all that stuff. Uh, your forearms, elbow down. Cannot, yes, elbow down. Cannot touch. Cannot touch your body. Yeah. And, th and that's the ruling. But again, some yeah. people don't know the exact rule and they believe they do. And mm. the hard part. Now, what do you do, Ash? You deal with it and then talk to the committee afterwards. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's okay. all that can be done. Hopefully, both will be reasonable. I don't know all the rules. No, so, nor do I. So, do you know, if I was playing with you and I was unsure, I'd talk it, discuss with you, and hopefully we come up with what we feel is reasonable. In yeah. the end, we both might be wrong. Yeah. But, do you know what I mean? Yeah. If you go, mate, look, I'm positive you get a drop from here because mm. of this little, and I go, well, that's why I thought I was unsure. Yeah. Hopefully people uh, realise but, but that they're the, not playing the USO. And then the other hand, if they said, right. no, mate, you don't get a drop from that. No, oh, I just said it from me. Well, there you go. So, like, uh, yeah. essentially, what, what I think you know, it boils down to is not if... not put my name down his group again. <laughs> and, that's, and that's right. Probably don't play with him again. Yeah, yeah. What, what I think is if you and your marker agree that this is that that's what the rule is believed to be and you play from there... Yeah, if it's a Saturday, if it's a Saturday competition, um, then you would take your score, but then you would have to make note to go and speak to the club pro, um, the president, so, someone else to get that ruling. But I mean, if if you're out with social, like our social competition with my work, I, I have a heavily modified rule set. Stuff like out of bounds, hit it out of bounds, treat it as a penalty, just drop it where it crossed. You know, that sort of stuff. I mean, gol golf's meant to be enjoyed. Yeah. So make it enjoyable. I mean, I don't even know how many rules there are, but I know the book is... You know, it's big and the decisions it book's is even big. bigger. Like, it is so big. And you can get yourself bogged down saying, well, this rule and then this B of... Dash one, yeah. whatever it is, is this? So yeah, I yeah. think the putting one that you're saying is a bit tough, but yeah, because he I, anchored straight away. You know what I mean? I, yeah, I understand where he's like coming from, all but day, yeah, and then I don't yeah. bring it up to you until it's time to sign the your card. Yeah, I, I was frustrated I, at that. I'll admit it, mate. Yeah. I look, look, I, I do agree. Mm. You know, but like my all, wife like got all things golf once, and she was told that yeah. like her hands were too close to stomach, and she said, "Well, I can't push him any further because I'll make a half bunch of bread." There always has to be a joke there, doesn't she there? Goes, <laughs> so my hands would have to be here uh, without actually touching yeah. my stomach, and he went. It's oh, a well, joke I'll without being a joke. It's just mm. dead true. Uh, What's well, true, mate? Thanks, Ash. Uh, guys, send in some more questions. Um, kind of want to bring this up real quickly. I don't know if this is Australia, the world, or uh, Queensland, but it's particip regular participations or participants um, since from uh, 2001 to 2016 in, in a lot of sports. Oh, yeah, yep. So basically, on here, soccer in 2001 was 428,000 participants, and then in 2016, 623,000. Mate, soccer That'd have to be Australia, Mike, wouldn't it? Well, I'm, get, I, I'm pretty sure it was Australia when I screenshot oh, I, it. I, I, I think they were the stats that come from Australia. I think I saw them in the paper. The, the, the same ones. Um, if you go down, my boys play soccer. They're 8 and 10. It's booming. Mm. Like, they can't get enough coaches. Every age group's got half a dozen teams. Um, more than more than the other code. Certainly rugby league and stuff. Yeah. They're, they're certainly not booming like what mm. soccer is. I'm guessing we're Where looking, was at, we're going to look at golf. Yeah, here. golf I, second. I mean, it, it's not really in any order, but yeah. but golf second. 2001, there was 814,000 participants. Oh, that's, that's so, US numbers. Yeah, I, I don't think it's Australian, but anyway, it's 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 there. 814,000. Um, yes. And the then 2016, it was 621,000. Oh, I reckon so that, I it reckon was, that is Australian. I reckon that is Australian. It's a 24% it drop. Yeah. Yep, yep. yep. Why? See, is, is is it the fact well, that see, getting older, no more juniors, what is it? Or boring? I don't know. I think it's... I, just, uh, I wanted to bring this up so that you guys can comment and see what you think and the reason why. A combination of, of lots of different things. Mums drive sport. Well, I've always said that. And they're driving their kids towards sports like soccer for lots of different reasons. One, because I'd rather sit 
for an hour and watch Johnny play soccer than go to golf with him all day or mm. cricket all day. All right, before all right. that, I'm, I'm going to go over a few yep. and then you can keep going. Um, uh, tennis was 30% down. Yep. Uh, cricket was 10% down. Yeah. Yep. Uh, netball was 24% down. 25% down for lawn bowls, maybe that people dying. 69% down for snooker, pool, and billiards. That's an old. I, th I, I feel that is usually yep. an old person. Now, the biggest change was rowing at 62% increase. Yeah. 46% for soccer and 37% for badminton. Yeah. Uh, so. The stats are not quite right because I know for, for a fact that cricket's actually had. Well, this is 2016, from 2001 to 16. Yeah, I think it's had definitely an upsurge. I think what it comes down to, uh, the biggest things for me is time. time. A, yep. lo a lot of people are a lot more time conscious nowadays where they don't have an entire Saturday for sport. They have Saturday morning and then they have to go and do whatever they're doing. But also expenses. Um, in Australia, golf isn't a cheap sport by any uh, any means. When you compare it to places like the US where you can pick up Top of the range shoes for two hundred dollars Australian. The, as the, yeah, to the Yanks do it really right. well for superseded stuff. All right, now, so what's junior membership at Virginia? One hundred fifty bucks. It'd right? be sub two hundred bucks. Mo right. Most clubs bucks. are sub. You can yeah. pick up a junior set of clubs. What hundred bucks? Oh, you could pick up. Yeah. Yep, two hundred fifty bucks. Right. So they could play every day of the week, seven days a week, all year for two hundred fifty bucks. Yeah. Agree. Right. Yeah. It costs at least three hundred and fifty dollars. For less than six months of soccer, hundred percent. Add, add boots on top of that, so it's so 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 really so, so it must be a time thing then. But also, yeah. golf is a very individual sport, and and we're always you know, told to be team orientated. Yeah, yeah and, and I think and, that's the problem more so. So if you look at the the sports that have had the the down surge, right, tennis. Yeah, yeah, individual. Right, yeah. all those individual sports. Badminton's up though. Yeah, Snooker. bad big yeah. <laughs> Snooker's down. <laughs> yeah. But if you look yeah. at those, they've had the down surge. Yeah, fair yeah. call. People majority. want their kids to play some team sport. It's good for them. They learn how to interact with other kids. Oh, no, I did. It. I did. I played soccer for yep. seven years. Better or for their mental health. Yep. People are certainly pushing their kids into soccer, especially mums, because they go, "Well, I don't want little Johnny to get hurt." Mm. Um, so certainly that's. A I'd rather him feign an injury on the ground. <laughs> Do, yeah, I'd pull a fat. Oh, I've just yeah. done my bloody shoulder again. <laughs> oh, oh, there's another heart. Heartledge is gone. Oh, oh, oh. Thanks oh, for the question. Another wind today. <laughs> Thanks for the questions, guys. But um, is there uh, more? No. Well, unless you got some. Actually, oh, what have you? you got some? I got some for you Kieran. Got lots of MP18. Mm. Mizuno MP18s. Um, I was trying to get up who made the comment, but it was something like a pair of Aussie blokes speechless at Mizuno. Oh yeah. Um, um, stuff. Um, did you like Richo asked me the same questions? Yeah, mate, did, that was. Did Kieran have a fit when yeah. he done that no, video? No, no, no. Oh, oh, I, 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 I just when I saw it, I phoned the ambulance and then you I like... realised that it wasn't live. <laughs> so I thought there's no point sending an ambulance out to Golf Central because you won't be there. But <laughs> no, no. no. Yeah. I, was I, mean, I did fit, contact Al and say, look, was Kieran all right? Because like, did you start some CPR on him? Or, like, <laughs> oh, no, I didn't have a fit. I wasn't having a stroke. <laughs> nothing like that. It was just I, I couldn't. Yeah, I just could not work out the words to describe these clubs. Like, they're just... When you see them... Uh, yeah, I'm doing <laughs> He's doing it again! <laughs> and now, like, if you, Mate, go, if, you go and, if you go and look at them... Mate, I don't, I don't blame you. Do you know how many people watch me swing in a golf club and they go... And they all go, what do you think of that? And they go... Yeah. <laughs> but if you go uh, and have a look actually, at them... Did Sarah Kemp say just, it wasn't long enough? Right? Somebody said it wasn't long enough, but anyway. Just go and have a look at them, <laughs> and explain. you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, yeah. You'll see them, and you'll just go, wow. Like, it, if the I could just say, wow. Fi the finish, yeah, and that's what you did, I think. But yeah, it's, the finish is so good. Yeah, and they just look brilliant. So, like, so, brilliant isn't even the right word. So coming up... Not enough of a word. We've got the 730s, the tailor-made 730s. Um, so we'll see how they go, and I'm sure they'll be beautiful. Hopefully we'll have the tidy gear as well, but... Putting the Mizuno up against the Taylor Made, that'll be interesting because they do look very similar. I personally don't like the shiny shininess of the MP5. 
mm. where the MP18 is just slightly brushed. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a brush. It look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, gee, anyway, <laughs> let's. Get I could say it looks beautiful. Yeah, yours got it does, the, I might get yours has got the double chrome. It's shiny. Mm. Yeah, it's supposed to be. They look yeah. stunning. There you go. I don't beautiful. even know if like. Yeah. Can you call a golf club stunning? Could, yeah, can. that's it. Call me soft. Call me whatever. But yeah, stunning. Do you have a question? And then amazing. we'll finish it off. Oh, I like something that's just like a workman. Do you a walkman? <laughs> a workman. I don't know. Um, you have a question? No, I can't think of anything. No, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. there is certainly a lot of golf gear. We were talking about this earlier. Yeah. That, that's coming that's out. That's come out recently. A lot yeah. of irons from a lot of different companies. Um, interested in having a look at some of them. I'm yep. not necessarily looking at changing, but... <laughs> no, but... It would be very interesting. No, you, no, you, 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 you tend to hit the um, Z5 uh, or 5 very well. Yeah, yeah, and I love the fact that you can't get many more, so that's good. Yeah, true, but you know, we've, so, 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 so Rich has played with them at, at Mulaney, and then he's gone the blades, and he's mucked around the blades, so, you know, and, 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 and that, that's an interesting thing. Because they're for fun. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. Yeah, and certainly the short irons in the blades, fantastic. You can certainly hit those longer ones you struggle with. but. You know, it, it's just for some fun, and sometimes that's what you should do. Yeah, mix it up. Go, with. go and try something. Maybe even know. play left-handed for a change. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. If, Bugger that! Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> but I mean, you don't, you don't know. You see different yeah. putters and think, oh, they may just give it a go. Yeah, mm -hmm. give it a go. And there is lots of golf gear around. You know, I only paid seventy-five bucks for those yeah. irons, so it's not like I went and paid, you know, fifteen hundred bucks or whatever mm. else. But there's lots of stuff around cheap that you yep. can pick up especially if it's been around for a few years why not you never know you might you yep. know you might be something you've looked at and gone no nah, that's not for me it's and, not for me but we're going back to it now yeah maybe it is mm. and speaking uh, of blades richo used the blades at laidley yeah he did didn't he yeah so laidley's yeah. coming up laidley yes. vlog um coming up for the fortnight yep. to come yep. or maybe it even be just a week to come because we've got a few that we can maybe punch out and mm. yeah. Get a few out. But either way, if, if, if you see something after this video that uh, is not Laidley, well then it'll be the fortnight. But I'll deal with it then. Yep. <laughs> Your thoughts on Laidley? 12 hole track. Good. We have, so we had us three and then Jake in Newbury. Uh, good, same thing. Typical country track. Mm. Good spot. A lot of people help maintain yep. the course. We've been doing um, that a bit recently, which is good. All these places are going to be governed a bit by the weather. Yep. Mate, your bad storms come through here. Drought. Obviously, yeah, right. drought out west. Um, you know, big ants coming and digging up the golf course. Um, <laughs> you tagging jets. people. Tagging That's cured. Sometimes. It was a big ant. Uh, it was a huge ant. <laughs> um, but I don't do bugs. It's a 12 hole man. golf course. Um, Starship Troopers. <laughs> he <laughs> would shit himself through it. Starship <laughs> Troopers, wouldn't you? When they're all getting attacked Mate, for the actually, instance. first time I watched it was like the year it came out or something, and <laughs> mum said, Mum had to send me to bed. <laughs> <laughs> said, nah, this isn't for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hey, Mum. Since then, he's been a mess. Yep. It's all over. Scarred me for life. Oh, Chucky, Chucky scarred me. Mm. But 12 old track, so somebody's thought about it a little bit. They haven't just made greens, which is no, great. No, what Watch it. Yeah. You'll see us talk about what we thought of yeah. the course. Great and elevation chart. I don't think there's one flat. No, oh, no. Every, yeah. everything's oh, a, a little bit moving. a little bit uphill, but, but everything's slightly moving up, yeah. down, and yep, yeah. which is I, great. I, I thought it was really good. Yep. Like, Laidley's amazing, but yeah. anyway, I was, I was very surprised first time I played there. So check that out, guys. We'll see right. you next time. Don't forget so, to send in your yeah. questions. Hey, Doris, if anyone's looking for for another Doris, give us a yell. <laughs> so if anyone's watched this far, hashtag Doris. Hashtag Doris. Richard's new see you bag. Next time. See you next time. Thanks, pal. Beautiful. Thanks Cheers, guys. Much. We'll see you next time. Enjoy Laidley. See you later. Cheers. Later. My hands are freezing.